Give that applause going for your next act, Tom Malmsgaard! What's up, everybody? Hi. You ready for a change of pace? <laughs> Hi. I've been doing stand-up for five months. This is my 60th show. Yeah, a little bit about me. I like uh, telling jokes and uh, smoking weed. And uh, I'm all out of weed. Does anybody have weed? I'm all out of, okay, how about a joke? How about a joke? Uh, uh, what did the restless st stoner say to the other stoners? Said, I believe it's high time. <laughs> I flew here from South Africa two weeks ago. Oh boy. One of the things I never understood about flights is you're not allowed to have liquids on them. So the night before, I put my bag in the freezer. I got a security. He said, do you have any liquids in this bag? I said, not yet. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> And the guy next to me on the flight, he ordered two Coke Zeros. I was like, okay. Isn't that the same as one Coke Zero? Do you think about it? They have two lights, two lights that you stare at when you're on a plane. One, of the, one is the no, one is the seatbelt light, and one is the no smoking light. And the seatbelt light, that goes off when you can remove your seatbelt. That no smoking light does not come off. I looked. Someone's wasting electricity. You could paint that on. They don't care too much about efficiency. I had four layovers from Cape Town, South Africa. I flew to Frankfurt, to Zurich, back to fucking Frankfurt, and then Liverpool. I didn't understand then passport control. That took forever. I had a flight in an hour, and the, the, the line, it took it. I missed my flight. <laughs> I missed my, I got to there, and they said, how long are you gonna be in Germany? I said, just give me 10 minutes. <laughs> Please. Uh, then I got on the flight to Liverpool. It was a small plane. I was sitting next to the emergency exit, which means, in case of in an emergency, I had to remove the door and throw it out of the airplane. <laughs> Did you know that? I never had a seat with a job before. That's kind of bullshit. That's like going to a restaurant, sitting too close to the kitchen, and having to make an omelet. Unfair. The, then the flight attendants came down the aisle selling food. It's like, what are you doing selling food? Well, I'm watching the emergency exits. You watch the exits. I'll sell the food. <laughs> I need to stretch my legs. <laughs> yeah, I got here in a bad, you know, I noticed as soon as I got here, even though English people have been speaking English longer than Americans have, you guys speak it wrong. <laughs> you know that you guys probably think, this comedian doesn't know what he's talking about, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it what? <laughs> Difficult to speak English? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm actually half English, on my ugly side. <laughs> you see this crooked tooth? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not too smart either. I don't understand how things like indoor plumbing work without electricity. People are like, we have running water. I say, yeah, running on what? <laughs> I flooded my bathroom. <laughs> Long story short, that's what happened. I was trying to, I have a washing machine here with a tube and I'm supposed to put the tube in the tub when I use a laundry machine. I don't know, has anybody, has anybody ever had a laundry machine like this before? Just someone? Just me and fucking someone? No wonder I flooded my bathroom. 
I forgot to put it in the tub, and then uh, I came back and there was an inch of water on the floor. Sorry, two centimeters. <laughs> there was like two centimeters of water on the floor. <laughs> I dried it up, left. I tried to perform here last week, but it was full. And on the way back, I get a text from my Airbnb host. The landlord is upset. The ceiling is leaking. Like, doesn't it always rain here? Uh, yeah, the landlord was pissed. I really hope he forgets about that because the floor will not. Thank you so much. This has been so, so freaking fun. Thank you, everybody.